Hello, this is Sorin again. Uh, in this short video, I will demonstrate how to debug a remote development session in Node.js. So I will make use of the previously uh, deployed application, uh, the demo books based on uh, React API uh, to demonstrate this, uh, this feature as well. So again, I'm going to copy the uh, remote development command, but I will need to add something to it. In order for the uh, IDE to attach to the debugger running in the container, the port from local needs to be um, forwarded to the container. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a connection. So I would uh, achieve this by adding a dash dash port forward. And the port is 9229. This is the default port. And basically, here I'm saying Bonishell that I need to forward this port on, on my local to this port in the container. I'm going to run the command. It will request me uh, the remote and the local um, folders. So this is the, the source and the remote folder. One second, I will get again from the... <clears throat> Docker file. Sorry, I don't know this by heart, but you probably know your um, applications folder. Either way, uh, these can be uh, passed as um, options to the to the command. So right now the process um, is not running. As before, I have no process running on this container. I'm gonna start the process in development which means adding this uh, inspect flag which will allow uh, my IDE to connect to the uh, running process in the container. Uh, however there's one more thing I need to do I need to edit the configuration you can also do this by uh, clicking run and edit configurations so that I map out uh, the folders on my local with the folders in the container. I'm gonna uh, add a new configuration for attached to Node.js. I'm going to call it books dev, right? And it will point out to localhost and the 9229 port, which um, the ID will connect to, but through the port forwarding, this will actually end up in the container on the 9229 port there. Uh, the option running with inspect is already selected, so this leaves me only with needing to map my local backend folder to the container backend folder and this is it i just need to attach the debugger i'm gonna click this debug icon and the debugger was attached let's see how it works i'm gonna refresh the endpoint and there's something i forgot Yes, I forgot adding a breakpoint, sorry. <laughs> so I added uh, a breakpoint here. And if I refresh, the breakpoint um, will get hit. I can see that uh, I see the, um, the variables here. Right, I can expand on this. Uh, I can also see the, the call stack here. And uh, I can uh, do usual debugger stuff like uh, go through uh, functions and uh, skip functions, go into uh, get out of functions. So this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoy debugging your applications uh, with Bunny Shell. And please let us know if it works for you uh, as easy as uh, it works for us. Thanks.